So today, we are going to turn Mitchell from a straight acoustic into an acoustic electric. Check this out. Here I am on the road again. There I am up on the stage. Here I go playing star again. There I go. Turn to page. Hey, y'all. Inside this box will be a future video. But inside here, is a guitar. I promise you, there's a guitar in there. That Mitchell is not an electric acoustic. It's straight acoustic only. Well, that means there's nothing inside, no internal uh, electronics to allow you to amplify it. So if you were to play this guitar on stage and need to amplify it, you would either have to have a mic stand somewhere as close to the sound hole, yet far enough away that you'd be able to do your strumming, your picking, let your arm swing naturally and whatever else without getting in the way of that mic and bumping it and whatever else. Or what they used to do years ago, they would take the strings off. Because usually if you're going to perform live somewhere, you usually start that day, you'll put new strings on and practice throughout the day to get the strings stretched and where they'll start holding tune for that evening. So while the strings are off, you would take a hand towel, a washcloth, and lay it inside this section of the body down here when the guitar is being played like so. And then lay a microphone in there with the... Hello! <laughs> with, I'm easily amused. With, with the, the actual mouthpiece of the microphone facing to the rear because your echo chamber is where the rich, richness and fullness of the sound comes from, and then it bounces back out the sound hole. So, but that's a pain as well, especially nowadays since they have all this electronic technology that allows you to electrify any guitar. Uh, in fact, guitars, banjos, um, just any kind of string in instrument you can think of, I, I almost bet you there's some technology out there somewhere to amplify it. So today, we are going to turn Mitchell from a straight acoustic into an acoustic electric. The other day, I posted for St. Patrick's Day a video called The Leaving of Liverpool, which is an old Irish ballad, an old Irish folk song. And in that video, the guitar I'm playing is also a straight acoustic. And y'all will have noticed something looked a lot like this sitting across the sound hole. This is a Dean Markley pickup. There, now there are several companies. Uh, there's another company called Lace, L-A-C-E. -E. They make one, and it's pretty stout looking, real nice. Uh, low profile, and for some people they'd rather have the low profile. This one sits up a little taller off the body. But the, um, the problem with that one is it requires you to start drilling holes to mount it permanently. Which I don't have a problem with it being mounted permanently, but if I'm going to mount the pickup permanently, then why would I want to run the cord along the outside of the body, which it will then hook onto the snap back here. Um, and that's the big, big issue, is if you decided, hey, I'm going to go uh, make my guitar into an acoustic electric, and there's Fishman Electronics and all these different companies, Fender, that make all these different electronics. And you can go ahead and buy all the stuff it takes to cut holes in, in the guitar body and professionally install it yourself or have someone at a guitar repair shop do it for you. But e either way, you're still having to cut into the body, which is going to make a mess. God forbid that if you 
don't have good results when it's all said and done you're, you're gonna wish you never done it because it'll you know sometimes it'll cut where the stain is at it might be brittle right there and and your way out one of the strokes with the coping saw it'll actually pull that and kind of now you've got a spot sticking way up here so like a sliver so to speak that's been removed and once that happens there's no undoing that but with this right here this is a Dean Markley Pro Mag Plus acoustic pickup. I am not in any way being, uh, what would the word be? Um, I'm not being given any, any kind of funds to endorse this product. I've had one for years and enjoyed it so much that I've bought two more. The nice thing about this is you can move it from one guitar to another in seconds. No tools required, no drilling, no screwdrivers, no nothing. No pliers, needle nose, or anything else. But there's one thing you need to pay attention to if you decide to buy a pickup, an acoustic pickup for your straight acoustic guitar. Now this particular one's got a blonde, kind of a clear stain over it, clear varnish over wood. I went to Guitar Center one day and bought one having already bought this in fact i bought the very first one at guitar center in memphis tennessee and i went to another guitar center one day i think i was up in pittsburgh at the time and that one was black instead of blonde which i don't care the color don't mean anything to me it performs the same but the problem was it has like this 10 or 12 foot long cord sticking off the end of it with a male plug although these are removable and you can put them from one guitar to another my the way I work with my rigs once I set it up I leave it that way the ones that are tuned to step down I don't keep tuning them back and forth I leave it tuned to step down and if I'm gonna put even a temporary pickup onto the guitar it's gonna stay there permanently I might not need to make it permanent but it's gonna stay there permanently just the same so I don't want a 10 12 foot long cord that's always gonna be around me when I want to say take it to the beach or just take it outside in my backyard sit there and play without the amplifier and I've got all this cord dragging around behind me so there are two models of this let me bring this in a little closer so y'all can see those model numbers and you'll notice that there's one is standard the standard is the one that has the male plug with a like I said 10 or 12 foot long cord this is the XM 3011 the XM 3011 has a very short cord with a female plug. So we'll open that dude up right there. Come out, come out, come out. Now, the only thing you have to do with these is if you'll notice that little piece of blackness in there, that's foam rubber. And it's very I won't say soft. It's got a little bit of stiffness to it because obviously once you get it in there, you don't want it wallowing around inside the sound hole either. Because for your best, your best electronic pickup, you'll want it 90 degrees to the strings. Although you are able to move it about 30 degrees one way and 30 degrees the other, and that changes the tone based on how much of the signal is being picked up. Since you've moved that, it's not going to pick up the signal as strongly. You can also, if you'll notice the thickness. In between this here the guitar face the guitar top is not near as thick as that and that gives you the ability to either run them all the way down flush or bring it all the way back up and the higher you go by say bringing the guitar face just up to the bottom side of this lip that brings this closer to the strings and it has even a more pronounced sound so the only thing that you have to do, and it's got felt in the back so you can slide it across the finish, no matter how nice of a guitar, you might have an old Taylor or an old Martin, and literally an antique that you want to amplify, but you don't want to scuff the finish, no worries. The only piece of assembly you'll have to do with this right here. Slide this piece right here, which is otherwise going to be dangling, banging against the guitar body when you're, when you're plugged in or not, and slide it into this piece here. You might have to push down on it a little bit, to get it started in there and once you get that started in there push it just about but not quite all the way in I leave about a on a quarter inch three-eighths of an inch or so just like so there we are and now it's ready for installation
with the cord facing rear and down. Take the top, which is now technically, if you're playing this, it's in this position while you're playing. So taking the upper portion of the pickup, slide it under the strings, grab a hold of it on this other end here to guide it, which sometimes you might have to, like just there, have to guide it onto the guitar body. Push into that rubber like so. And then kind of give it a chance to acclimate itself. Push back the other way. Wiggle it around a little bit. <clears throat> Just like that. You take this piece right here. Just like so. Now, some uh, career musicians would probably even go so far, if they had to do something like this, would probably even go so far as to um, tape this in place right here. So, but if y'all, again, have followed any of the videos I've posted, I'm, I'm an aggressive player. I, I, don't, I don't just kind of strum in this zone right here. I'm strumming from way up here all the way down to here and a lot of different stuff. This cord is not in the way. But there it is. Installed. No drill, no pliers, no screwdriver. It doesn't wiggle around, it ain't coming out. This way you can leave the pickup and the guitar. Have your guitar cable coiled up in that pocket up here in the neck of the guitar case. When you're able to amplify, plug in. When you're not able to amplify, it still plays just like an acoustic guitar. Just like so. So there it is. Dean Markley Pro Mag pickup. Acoustic pickup, that is. Um, musician's friend has them. We've actually gone to Guitar Center trying to find another one of these since I, the one I have on the on Coco is the one I bought at Guitar Center years ago. And we've actually gone to Guitar Center trying to find them. And no, all we got is those with the long cord with the male plug. But I'm, well, I don't want the one with the male plug. And um, the mama has gone around different music stores here in the Ozarks where we live. And they haven't had any luck either. In fact, the one guy said, well, all I can do is check with my supplier if he ever gets any more. But basically the idea was they don't, they don't basically don't, don't carry them because it's, it's not a very common item. But there are a lot of folks who do have straight acoustic guitars and do have a need for that. So, um, we found it on Musician's Friend, www.musiciansfriend.com that we paid less than $30. But there it is. Um, uh, it took longer for me to pull the guitar out of the case and put it back than it did to actually install the pickup. It's real simple, not very expensive. You're now electrified. Time to jam. You only got one life to live. Get out there and live it. But don't live it at the expense of others. Y'all be good to each other. Have a good day.